low blood supply. Without enough donors, Senator Michael Bennett is now among those urging the Federal Drug Administration to lift restrictions on gay and bisexual men donating blood put in place at the start of the AIDS epidemic in the 80s. Cardio News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas joins us live in the studio with more. Jasmine. Although rules have loosened up in recent years, gay and bisexual men are still not allowed to give blood unless they meet certain requirements of either monogamy or celibacy. And with the COVID pandemic greatly limiting blood donations for the last two years, advocates say it's time for change. UC Health and Vitalant hosting a community blood drive Tuesday, providing donors with a few gift cards and some ice cream for their efforts. This year we've had this, this spike in COVID, which has led to the cancellation of hundreds of blood drives. Um, so we're, we're at a, a two-year low uh, with Vitalant. It's a shortage many blood donation centers are dealing with, but even those who've had COVID can donate blood. Really the only... The only thing that we ask is that if you have had, if you're experiencing symptoms, that you wait two weeks before trying to donate. But if you've had COVID, if you haven't, if you've been vaccinated or not, you're still eligible to donate. But that's not the case for gay or bisexual men. I think the most important thing to recognize is that uh, they do test all of the blood when blood is donated. And so policies that discriminate against a certain population of people simply for who they have sex with uh, are really just about discrimination at this point. The CDC does require all donated blood to be tested for infectious diseases like HIV or hepatitis C. According to Alyssa Smith with Inside Out Youth Services, the FDA's rule restricting gay and bisexual men from donating blood if they had sex with men within the last three months is just unfair like lift a restriction that harms people anyway so we can get the best and most blood to combat this shortage with the ongoing national blood shortage a group of senators including colorado senator michael bennett are hoping the fda can change their discriminatory blood donation policies to save more lives now, most blood donation sites say they are just following the FDA rules. In the meantime, blood is urgently needed in Southern Colorado. Go to our website for more information on where to donate. Live in studio, Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13. Our Jasmine, thanks.